There's a new weapon out. Oh, free, oh, freak this place, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and freaking test that thing out. You'll just kill me. Oh my god, I'm dead in two hits. <laughs> How's it going everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Frontier video, everybody. So guys, first things first, what is these 32 messages? We gotta check this out. What is this? Alright, private chat offer. Oh, Sergeant Eagle. Oh, uh, what is this? C12? The Hellstorm. Right, right, right. Okay, thank you. But yeah, I gotta give a huge shout out to Sergeant Eagle for letting me this weapon for today. Uh, but overall, it looks amazing. I mean, just look at this thing. Hellstorm C12. It looks absolutely magnificent. It slows the effect by 50% for 5 seconds per hit. Yikes. And it has 30 round capacity, slow reload speed, very slow firing speed. So I like a long shot speed. But what I do like about it is the 25 strength required. So you don't need that much strength. All you need is pretty much the 120 rifle skill. But overall, I do want to see what is this blaze, 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 blaze. Jesus Christ, what is all this? So guys, listen, before I keep this video going, to those that sent me weapons to review, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. It kind of touches my heart. No, it does touch my heart. And I want to say thank you for the support. We've been doing great on YouTube, Patreon. You know if you guys want to check that out. Uh, here's the link to the description below. Also, my Discord. Like I said, check everything out. Uh, I love you guys always supporting me and I always treat you guys fairly. Uh, for the people that did the Patreon, I'm still working on that. Overall, still, I thank you guys for helping me out so much. Uh, I promise to give you guys roles on my Discord. I'm going to get you that all day today. So this video is going to go up and then I'm going to work on making sure you guys get a good role on my Patreon. So after that, you know, you guys will have a good way to kind of communicate with me. I'll, get the, I'll sneak in there every once in a while when I have time to play this game. And yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so for our first fight, we have a flaming mother, but let me just see this in the inner city. I just want to say at first glance, if this, if this was first person uh, a first person point of view, this would look absolutely sick in like, you know, in front of your face. It just looks nice, man. <laughs> it really does, alright? So, I mean, if, when you don't hit a critical, it's still like not that bad. But, I must say, it's still an impressive uh, weapon out here. Alright, but enough tomfoolery. I'm gonna go ahead and just go to these flaming mothers. It shouldn't take long to kill them. I mean, it's the Hellstar C12. I always said this weapon would be one of the funnest weapons to use in the game. But here we are. I really want to see what it's all about. And yeah, let's just skip to the mothers, honestly. In the event that there is no way to, you know, uh, trap him, I always recommend this. Just go around the whole block. Don't die. Just, uh, you know, just, just make sure you just don't die. <laughs> and pretty soon the aggro will just escape. So for you people watching this video, just, like I said, a bit of advice from Armando to you. If you want to lose aggro, go around the whole block, like once or twice, and aggro should disappear after a few rounds, unless that's been updated, but I hope not. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Alright, so fortunately I failed, and now I'm stuck with these bunch of uh, zombies in here, so that, that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, so much this, tur this turn out from an uh, easy review to a freaking annoying as a, to an annoying uh, zombie um, confrontation, so damn. These gals should be almost on. Yeah, I don't recommend fighting like this, especially any like slow boss. It's so annoying with all this aggro. If you have a grenade launcher, go for it, but I just don't recommend it. I, I, I don't. I do not recommend fighting aggro like this. So annoying. Come on. Let me get a shot on her, man. You guys are really doing a great job right now. Damn. Gotta give it to y'all. Doing a really good job. Like, bro, she's almost dead, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly. Using this on a slow boss really isn't a good idea because they're just even slower. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend this weapon against mothers or flaming rumblers. They walk, they run way too slow. I mean, they're fat, so it's understandable. Fine. There you go, finally. Now you guys are all taking it. There you go. We want smoke. Uh oh, I, I might, I might get smoke soon. Oh, nice, mess GT. <laughs> all right, I guess who wants to smoke? Who wants to smoke? Who wants smoke? Yeah, whatever. Alright guys, so see how I'm going to edit this video very short for that fight for the mothers because it wasn't really that entertaining. I'm just going to talk about how slow it'll make a zombie if you hit it with it. Alright, so let's look at the dogs first. Okay, so dogs, as you can tell, very slow. <laughs> and then obviously, you know. But yeah, they, they really slow down to like, I believe, yellow level. Obviously then rumblers just become extremely like fat or just frozen and they just can't get you. And then tendrils, as you can tell, normal running. So... Basically, when you hit a zombie with this weapon from for any black zone zombie, they become pretty much blue or yellow or green level, you know, speed for five seconds. So, yeah, if you're looting or something like that, this is honestly a really good weapon for that. You can get away, you know, with just about anything and just dip. It doesn't have to be a critical hit for it to work. It just has to, you know, hit it. You're out of your way. Let's see the leaper. Oh, well, well, it died. <laughs> but yeah, let me go to the death row. And show you guys how it works there. Like I said, I'm not gonna end this video that quickly. I was thinking maybe just this fight, but no, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see how it works down there. So yeah, let, let's 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 just go there already. <laughs> Alright, guys, we finally made it to death row. Uh, I had to just raise the volume again. I was getting crazy, but yeah, let's just go see how this thing performs. So 
I mean, I haven't been to Death Row since the last video, but I mean, I like the mini map. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, Migusta. Oh, 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 oh. oh hee ho! I'm liking this gun. Hell yeah, it's, bro. Yeah, I'm liking this gun. Yo, that's from looking like a, like a walk in the park. Who wants smoke? Yo, you looking a little too slow, bro. You might want to speed up a little bit. Oof. Damn, this weapon really is good for death row. I mean, it, it kind of is meant for death row. <laughs> Makes nuts. Come on. We have like a looting event going on. Uh-oh. Dude, this weapon is amazing for death row. Yo. Hey, Sergeant, give it to me for free. <laughs> nah, chill, chill, chill. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, how oh, did he miss? You're a noob. I'm a noob. I almost got hit. Dude, this weapon really is incredible for... um. Yeah, it's really good. Make push a lot. Why am I hitting non-criticals? What is this crap? Dude, I, re I really like this. It reminds me of Death Frontier 2D. I really love the mini map. Dude, what is this crap? <laughs> Oof. Dude, this weapon is so sick in this area. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't, don't don't be shooting like crazy like me, okay? Take it easy. Oof. God, it's so good. <laughs> it's really good. My Oh, wow. I didn't find anything. Come on, man. Yo. Yo, who wants smoke? Who else wants to smoke? You guys want to smoke? Yeah, exactly. You heard that gun, right? You're like, yo, chill. Yo. Makes me want to do a loot run, man. It's really good. Uh oh. It's really good for death row. Oh my god, it's really good. Ooh, whiskey. Oh my god. Have I mentioned how good this weapon is in death row? Oh, there we go. But I never mentioned interior because, yeah, it's very cramped. Come on, you want to shoot every shot? Every shot wants to be shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, shoot, 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 shoot the shots. There you go, there you go. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought that was a... Uh... But no, dude, with this weapon, this zone becomes a walk in the park. Granted, the only... Ooh, Katana. The only sacrifice is going to be your money, okay? 20k for a pack? That's insane. Dude, you are ugly, bro. But yeah, the, the weapon is absolutely surreal in this in this zone. It's just, it, it just dominates. It dominates. You don't have to be worrying about like, damn, there's like 10 of them coming my way. I All I have is melee. I don't want to cause too much noise. With this thing, you can just comfortably loot. Like, it, I, I'm i pretty sure it's worth the money. If you want to do death row looting, this is the must-have weapon for it. Dude, what's with the pills? I understand it's death row, but I'm not dying every two minutes with this weapon. Like, come on. Oh, my God. Come on. See, look at that. They become so easy. It's so nice. Me gusta a lot. I like it a lot. It's really nice. A yellow trench coat. Yikes. How sad. Damn, what happened here? Who died? Yikes. Yeah, might I find a scar? Yeah, <laughs> that'll be the, one of the funniest loots. Eesh. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Nice. We are doomed. Yeah, no, in this row. If I was a survivor in this zone i would be writing that everywhere in the bathroom on the computer everything i'm like we're doomed bro we're dead I'm like yep we're we're, we're boned <laughs> we're pretty much done for you this weapon is a must-have for death row it really has to be a must-have for death row look at that easy look at that too easy dead oh that's i'm dead that's yeah yep i'm let's see how it does against an aggro fight <laughs> oh yep not very good, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, guys, overall, the weapon, if it's just for, like, like regular looting, which I know that's why Clayton put those random aggro spikes, it's going to do well. It's really going to do well. What I do recommend when that happens is go to another area where it's just the southeast end zone, which is the regular zombies. Whip out any grindy weapon you have and just shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, and just have them, you know, just clear that out, come back in, and just continue looting. But overall, dude, this weapon is amazing. It's a must-have for death row looting. Why waste ammo when you can just use, well, the... the the X does, or like a, a, a long shot or an M Garand and just kill them in one shot. But it's up to you. Overall, this is a must have for Death Row because it really slows the zombies by a lot. And you can comfortably loot, in my opinion. You can really comfortably loot. I mean, I already made like a bit of cash here just from this video alone. But yeah, in Death Row, this weapon is pretty much dominant. But once, you know, the aggro spikes comes out of nowhere, that's when you have to kind of like figure out how to like <laughs> overrun them or kind of like take them on without taking too many hits. Like me, I die in two hits and I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, the weapon is amazing. All right, I give it like an, I want to say a 9 out of 10. Okay, a 9 out of 10. You know, it performs really well in the inner city, especially in the southeast end zone or the black zone. It's just going to dominate the white zone, I'm sorry. And the death row does really well as well. Um, the thing is, when there's a lot of aggro, you really want to have a lot of speed. So, you know, so you can comfortably use this weapon when, you know, 
you're getting overrun but overall yeah good weapon so yeah so i'm sending out again thank you sergeant eagle show my patreon so you know thank you for the support we have five so far if you guys are willing to like if you guys are if you guys want to help here's my link in the description below i'm gonna work on an outro for you know to show the patreon's name and yeah without further ado so i'm sending out see you on the next one take it easy bye